Hi traders, thanks for stopping by the tradinganalyst.com. This is Taylor and we're gonna go over a bunch of charts here and I'm gonna give my analysis and we're gonna go over my thought process and the idea here is hopefully you can garner some education as well as potentially some profitable trade alerts from these videos. If you like these free videos, then it's nothing compared to the membership at the trading analyst dot com and the best part is it's a free trial for seven days and once you sign up for that free trial you're going to be able to take advantage of the professional chat room watch lists and the real-time trade alerts which are not only given in the chat room but also for those of you that have part-time and full-time jobs these alerts are also given via text message and email alerts so that you do not miss these alerts. You're also going to be able to get the exclusive member videos, webinars, and educational material and a mentor like myself who truly cares about your success in the market. It's a great opportunity and we'd love to have you. All right, so let's get into these charts. The first one we're going to take a look at is Apple. A couple of things I want to point out on Apple is Apple met the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level from these highs in 2015 to these lows right here, right about right here, okay? And uh, this trade really worked out well uh, for myself and our members. We got long right here on this breakout retest right here, went a little bit lower before eventually popping back up and we ended up selling uh, just above 117 uh, the other day. So uh, I believe that Apple could be in for some downside here. Uh, some short-term downside, still definitely a bullish-looking stock overall. And what you want to look for is potentially a bounce off of this trend line. Here's a test, here's a test, here's another test, and that's going to come right out to right around here right around 112 or so so that's where you want to look for a bounce on Apple otherwise we have support down here at about 109 but definitely in the short term I can see Apple coming down from here not only is it that 61.8 percent Fibonacci retracement but it's also some resistance previous resistance right here so just be aware of this uh, on the Apple chart and you should do just fine all right, next one we're going to take a look at is Netflix. And Netflix still overall looking like a good chart here. Broke over this downtrend line right here, over the 200-day moving average as well. And we bounced right where we had to today. So we've got this new uptrend line, a few touches there, a few touches here. And I believe that uh, Netflix uh, tomorrow more than likely is going to be coming down and retesting this trend line uh, once again. Most likely uh, we at least test um, today's lows right here. So look for that, um, but look for this to get a bounce. Um, if it doesn't get a bounce, if it doesn't close above this 200 day moving average, uh, then I'm not really going to like this for a long, not necessarily a short, um, but definitely Definitely not going to like it for a long if it does not hold this trend line. Uh, in my opinion, uh, it's a must hold level for Netflix along with that 200 day moving average here in the short term. Next, let's take a look at GoPro. And GoPro uh, finally broke this trend line. Uh, we've been monitoring this trend line and it's given several successful trade opportunities. We've been pointing it out ever since these lows here. So congrats if you've taken these trades. We mentioned that we could get a bounce on it uh, on our last video we did on GoPro, but we did not get a bounce off of that trend line. So in my opinion, I'm not really liking it for a long at this moment. Um, we could get a bounce a little bit lower. That would really be the only area I'd be interested in between 13 and about 1250. You can see that this was a previous low that was made right here so that's kind of a must hold level um, for me personally um, on GoPro that level plus plus the 200 day moving average is something I want to see hold on GoPro 
Next, let's take a look at Twitter. And Twitter, you can see as well, broke this trend line. There's a touch, there's a touch, there's a touch right here. Uh, we traded this very nicely from these lows right here, and we took profits on this day right here, just days before this massive drop. So that was perfect timing for us um, and a very nice trade. Uh, we were looking for a potential bounce in this area, um, but it dropped, it gapped below our level, so we did not end up taking uh, that trade. We really wanted it to bounce uh, from this level right here, about uh, 1850, but since it opened well below that level, we did not touch that. 200-day um, moving average, this is the last stand here for Twitter. We're below this support, uh, we're below this trend line. Uh, last stand is this 200-day moving average. Uh, that is a must-hold level, otherwise we're most likely going to be heading down to uh, these lows down here near $14. So just be aware of that um, for Twitter. The next one we're going to look at is Facebook. <clears throat> In Facebook, you can see that uh, we broke this trend line. There's a couple touches. Here we go. And another thing that I want to kind of explain here is that we had a what looked like a breakout here. Um, in fact, uh, we traded this for a long here on a retest of this 129 area and ended up getting stopped out on that trade on this day. So we got stopped out on the same day right there um, on that trade. Uh, now it's looking like a short here in the short term. So if we get a pop up to uh, 129, 129.50, I believe that'll be a good um, shorting opportunity and that we're going to be heading down to at least this 125 level. 125 is this nearest uh, support level that I have for Facebook um, based off of uh, these touches all along right here. We broke over right here and then retested it successfully several times right there and a lot of sideways trading right there. So definitely think that um, it's going to test that level coming up here. Not sure if it's going to get a little bit of bounce first. Uh, but if it does, that's going to be a good shorting opportunity, especially for those uh, shorter term uh, option traders out there. That's definitely a good opportunity. Uh, next, we're going to take a look at uh, Alibaba. Alibaba, another one uh, that we've been mentioning here uh, as a false breakout right here, uh, broke back below. Uh, we said it was going to be heading lower. That's exactly what it did. Um, and it's just based off of this uh, chart. False breakout, break below, should be heading lower, and that's exactly what it did. I think that we could be getting a little bit of a bounce here on Alibaba, uh, but I do believe that a bounce up to about 105 is a nice shorting opportunity. And I do believe that uh, Baba uh, has another uh, low in it, um, at least down to this uh, 98 level down here. And you can see that we have uh, the uh, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level based off of these lows to these highs right here, and that gives us 98. So that could be a potential bounce zone here um, for Alibaba, but that hasn't really been uh, tested yet. So I think we're going to at least make a newer low here in the very short term. So definitely something to look out for on Alibaba. The next one we're going to take a look at is Amazon. And Amazon was a really nice trade uh, for us. We got some uh, put options here uh, yesterday um, at the highs of the day. Uh, yesterday on a retest of this previous um, resistance. And I'll just draw that right about there. You can see that it, we broke this level right here, came back up, retested it. That's where we got short. We took profits uh, near the lows of today as well because we saw from the intraday chart, specifically the 15-minute chart, uh, that there was some reversals, uh, reversal pattern happening on the lows. And I'll just go ahead and cover that and show you exactly um, what I was seeing. So here uh, we had a longer, lower tail right there. Um, and this is where we started taking profits, right around here. 
um, and then we took our final profits uh, down right here and you can see that um, oh I'm sorry actually we took our final profits um, right here um, and you can see that uh, it was forming uh, a bottoming pattern you can see that the lower tail right here saw some buyers and then this following candlestick I'll zoom in a little bit this following candlestick big red candle but you can see look at where it held right here okay it held the previous low right here and then we had another candle which opened here and then closed green so that to me signal that we were at least going to see some kind of upside um, on Amazon and then the final straw was right here on this candle right here we came down and we hammered and we made a higher low based off of this low was the low over here and we made a higher low right here and right here we called for the uh, reversal upward uh, and 829 uh, was the target obviously it went a little bit uh, higher than that but uh, just giving you a little um, explanation here and so that maybe you can learn from uh, what we were looking at um, in real time uh, in the chat room. All right, that's it for the member video uh, today. Thanks for watching. As always, if you like the free videos and you like the analysis that we do on a daily basis for you, it's nothing compared to the membership. And the best part is it's a free trial. So go ahead and give it a shot. We'd love to have you.